Why do Young Thug's dreadlocks always look like this? They never look like they're retwisted, even that they are retwisted, like they just don't ever look very clean down by the roots. He is literally the only celebrity with dreadlocks that I've never seen his hair look very clean by the roots. No matter what he does, different hairstyles, different maintenance, it never gets maintained down to the root. Why is that? There are multiple reasons. Part of the reason is that he has a 4C hair type making it extremely tough for all that new growth to be maintained properly. I mean, is it just me or has his hair never been maintained all the way down to the roots properly? And of course this could be a look that he's going for, but it's kind of interesting because his hair looks completely maintained. It looks like he still gets retwists, he does hairstyles, but it doesn't go all the way down to the roots. Now here's another thing to consider. He has cut off his dreadlocks and reattached them. And I believe he's actually done this multiple times. A lot of celebrities have done this. He might have even got extensions to begin with. Like even if you look at the texture of his dreadlocks, they look very weird and they definitely do look like extensions. Like it doesn't look like his natural hair. And I'm sure that's the case. I'm sure that he does have dreadlock extensions installed. And I think that's part of the reason why his hair looks kind of weird down by the roots because his hair down by the roots is his natural hair. And then towards the tips is extensions. And even if it's not extensions, then it is just his hair that he cut off previously and reattached. But really quick, you guys did request this video, so make sure to leave a comment down below who you guys wanna see next. Although his locks do seem to me a little messed up, I can walk you through how to get them. First things first, he has a 4C hair type, making his hair extremely easy to lock up, which is why it's kind of interesting why his hair looks the way that it does. And as far as I know, he started out with traditional locks with twisting a gel, and then it seems like he just allows it to kind of lock up on its own, doing kind of semi-free form and make sure that it's still separated. He still does do hairstyles. He does do twisting with gel still, but it just doesn't look as maintained. And it's because of all the combination from his locks combining and also from him cutting his locks and reinstalling them and potentially adding in extensions, which I'm pretty sure that he did as well. There have been points in time to where his locks actually have looked very healthy, but majority of the time his hair is just extremely bleached. Uh, it looks very damaged. And I just encourage everyone, like if you're going to bleach and dye your hair, don't dye it and bleach it all the way down to the roots because you could be damaging the scalp and that could be a problem. And I would challenge all of you, if you want to dye your hair, just don't do it. Like challenge yourself to just keep your hair natural. And if you are to dye it, then just like dye the tips or something like that, or just dye a few of them. Don't dye it all the way down to the roots because you could damage your scalp. Like I don't want to be the one to tell you how to get your locks or how to get your hair, but I do want to caution you and let you know that it can damage your scalp and actually prevent your hair growth eventually and actually result in hair loss down the line. Another thing that's kind of interesting with Young Doug is he never gets a lineup. He doesn't get a fade. He has a full set of locks. That's why his locks kind of just look messy. And it's almost like he's on a line of like, do I want to maintain my hair? Do I want to freeform my hair? And it's literally just on that border of almost maintain.